go. It doesn't stand a chance. Three, four, five meters per second. Almost six. Almost six meters per second. Six. Let's go. So, a while ago I bought one of these overpriced Dyson fans and I turned it into a jet engine, as I normally do. Now, if you're familiar with this type of fan, you probably know they're also called bladeless fans. The thing is, they're not really bladeless, are they? They still have blades, they're just hidden in the base. But this raises an interesting question, which is, can you build a bladeless fan? So, a while ago I was using one of those cheap high voltage generators you can buy at Amazon as a source of ignition, as I normally do. And I noticed something. When you place the ends of the generator fairly close to each other, a spark jumps and you get a hark of plasma. Nothing new so far. If, on the other hand, you place them too far apart, nothing really happens. But, if you very slowly bring them together, you will reach a point at which you start hearing a hissing sound, almost like a whistle. And that whistle comes from the high voltage generating a very small amount of wind. And that's why the flame in the candle is dancing, and not because I'm singing. Tomatoes are disgusting, yeah. So, upon reading two paragraphs from Wikipedia, I realized this is called ionic wind. And apparently it works better if you have a sharp thing on the positive end of the high voltage and a blunt thing on the negative part of the high voltage. So, I came up with this setup, in which I have a nail as the positive lead and a tube as the negative lead. Because, like this, the wind can go through the tube. Smart, right? Let's build it. Hey, Mrs. Claus, this one's for you. Tell me, sweet mama, what's a guy to do? I'm tired of pretending it's just who I am. Come on, Mrs. Claus, let me be your man. And it's ready. Let's test it. Oh, can you hear that? That's wind for sure. Let me just put my hand here. Oh, I can feel it. Fire! Oh! It's able to put the match out. It's pretty amazing. Did you see that? That's pretty cool. Okay, let's try a candle now. We did it. How cool is that? Not even moving? It's working all right. I mean, it's producing wind and it was able to put out the match and the candle. Barely. And it wasn't really able to move the anemometer which means I can't even measure the speed of the wind coming out of this. With the Dyson fan, the match goes out immediately, and the anemometer was registering about 3 meters per second, which is much more than nothing. I need to improve on my design. I mean, I could just use more nails in tubes, that should work, but for some reason that doesn't sound like a good solution. You know what I need? I need to do more research. So, I did some research and I found something that is called an uh, ionic levitator or ionic thruster. Let's give it a look. Yeah, it looks like a triangle of aluminium foil to me. But it is levitating, so it works. Oh wait, I see. Instead of a nail, which basically is a point, they're using a wire, a thin wire, like the one using Tesla coils. That's smart. Instead of a point, use a line which is more efficient. I should give that a try. Super glue, it always helps. I know it's weird, but uh, humidity is the water that makes super glue dry faster, so...
No, the tube. Oh my god, this is a very bad setup. Okay, negative to negative and positive to positive. Nice. I did it. It took a while, but I did it. Oh, I can't move it now. Oh, that can't be right. 3.2 meters per second. Really? I'm gonna put it a little farther away. Yeah, now it's not even moving. Yeah, so I'm guessing I kind of have speed like right here, but I don't have power. I don't have enough mass flow. I need more mass flow. I kind of like this design. I mean, it's doing the job. It's moving the anemometer, but I don't think it has enough power. It lacks a little bit of mass flow as well. I need more power and more mass flow. And I think I'm out of my depth because I don't really know much about high voltage. So I think I need help. I should probably contact Jay from Plasma Channel. I mean, he has Plasma on the name of the channel. He should know more about this subject than I do. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a call. Yeah, funny that you'd ask me because I actually recently built an ionic thruster that uses that concept. Um, the secret is that instead of using a single wire, you'll want to use like a grid of wires. And then those grid of wires pairs up with a grid of grounded um, like tubing. So the wires are positively charged and then the tubing is grounded. But if you're gonna copy me, I recommend you don't use those cheap like Chinese high voltage generators. You know what I'm talking about? What you need is a flyback transformer. You know, like from an old CRT TV, like a really old TV. I have to disassemble a TV? Yep, get to work. Here it is, my high voltage supply. Got it. What's next? Now you need to build a MOSFET driver to feed that pulsed power into the flyback. Um, and then build a voltage multiplier to rectify and boost that AC voltage coming out of the flyback because uh, AC doesn't really work to create ionic wind. I have to do what? You can also probably just buy the whole thing on Amazon. It already comes with like the flyback, the driver, you know, the rectifier, and it'll pump out enough DC voltage to make this work. Wait, I can? Then why did you tell me I had to disassemble my TV? <laughs> I don't know, I just thought it would be funny. So Jay is a douche, but he has good ideas. I did what he told me and I bought one of those circuits that already have the flyback, the driver and the rectifier. Now all I need to do is do some building and some testing. The actual secret to make this work is to take a very sharp razor and do some scratching along the grid, like so. This is gonna create sharp points through which the corona discharge is gonna jump. Okay, so this is the idea that I came up with. Uh, it's basically like a cheat that I 3D printed in resin. Um, and it's the same concept as before but instead of having one line of wire, I have several. It's a grid. I did the same for the tubes. I have smaller tubes and I'm using aluminum foil to connect all of them electrically. Yeah, I'm gonna check if this works. Well, hey, victory! Yes! <laughs> 
until something funny happened. I thought I was done with this project. I mean, the bladeless fan is working pretty well, actually. But doing some testing, well, my fancy flyback with a driver and the rectifier that I ordered on Amazon broke. It's not working anymore. So for the first time in this project, I thought, well, what if I gave a try to those cheap Chinese uh, high voltage generators that I showed you in the beginning of the video? So I did. I hooked one of them up to the bladeless fan and this happened. Three, two, one. Oh my God. Are you listening to this? Just one stage. How cool is that? I have to try this with a lot of stages. One, two, three. That's insane. Nope, there's no chance. That's so awesome. Let's go. Three, four, five meters per second. Almost six. Almost six meters per second. Six. Let's go. Oh my God. That's almost eight meters per second. Jesus. It's getting to 15 meters per second now. Look at that. Hey, keep it down. I'm recording. Sorry. Hey, you want to see something cool? Yeah, sure. Come here. So, you're never going to guess what this is. So, candle, frame, right? And magic. Look at that. And it's off. Isn't that cool? Is this it? Yeah, it's a plateless fan. Isn't it cool? Go away. I need to work. Bye. So Clara is not very impressed. But I am. I mean, it's a bladeless fan. A true bladeless fan. And as far as I know, it's performing as well or better than the Dyson one. Yeah. All I need to do now is make it more powerful and more compact. I need to improve the design. And for that I'm counting on your help. This design is easily 3D printed. So, I'm sharing the files with you. If you don't have a 3D printer, well, I can help as well. On my last video I gave away a 3D printer to the most liked comment suggesting a theme for a future video. The winner was Spinware Corvallis. If you also want to win a 3D printer, all you need to do is subscribe to the channel, leave a like on this video and post a comment suggesting a theme for a future video. The most liked comment will receive a brand new 3D printer. Well, um, this is everything for today. Thank you so much for watching and remember, tomatoes are disgusting. See ya! Damn it.